Hello everyone, come on in, come on in. It's great to be here with you guys again tonight. You guys already know I have to wait on Facebook to come in and just begin to build me an audience. I'm excited about what God is doing. Come on, as you begin to come in, people of God, please begin to tag and share. Begin to invite someone to this live. Come on, on tonight, people of God, come on. I don't know about you, but I look forward to these lives. I look forward to hearing from God. I look forward to uplifting you and encouraging you, people of God. Come on, the quicker you come in, come on and begin to drop in the comment section. Come on, at followers. Come on, at everyone. At highlight. Lights, come on. We can begin to build an audience on one accord, people of God. Come on, tag everyone you know on tonight. Come on, tonight's message, people of God. Come on, it's uplifting, it's inspiring, it's motivating. Let me say this on tonight, people of God, that whatever the enemy thought that he had, watch this, on you or over you, he does not rabakosanya realize, people of God. Come on, woo Jesus Christ, I bless you. He don't realize, people of God, watch this, <coughs> that God is up to something big in your life. Come on in and please don't come in. Come on, just watching me and just looking at me. Y'all already know the Bible says where two or more gathered, he is in the midst, people of God. So the only way we can come in agreement with God doing something amazing in your life on tonight is by you coming in agreement with me. If I can just get everybody to come on tagging and sharing. Come on, we can begin to move. Come on, I see all my snipers in the spirit beginning to jump on. Come on, could I get everybody before you begin to tag and share to just comment what you see pinned to the bottom of the screen. Come on, at everyone. Come on, at followers, at highlights. Come on, there's a reason that I ask that you do that, people of God, because Facebook send notifications, my God, to people who is following you or people who is on your timeline or on your Facebook come on it's just a new way to invite people my God to the live and after you do that people of God if I can just get you to begin to tag and share come on in come on in come on I see some of my snipers come on in the spirit on people of God y'all come on in Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. God, I just want to thank you. Sometimes we just got to get to a place where we just, come on, begin to thank God. We got to get to a place, my God, people of God, come on, where we begin to just bless his name for who he is. There's nobody like him. Come on. There's nobody greater than him. Come on. On tonight, people of God need you to push. I need you to push. Come on. I'm not asking you to do something. I'm not doing myself. Come on in people of God. Come on. Help me tag and share on tonight. People of God. Come on. Come on. There's a pressing that's taking place, but something has to happen. Come on in the atmosphere. Let me decree this in the atmosphere that everything you touch, Rabba Kosaya, before 2023 is out, Rabakosaya, come on, shall prosper. Come on, do you receive that? Can I prophesy that over you? That everything, you begin to touch, shall prosper before the year is out. Come on in. Come on in and begin to tag and share. I ask that you do something simple, people of God. Like just begin to tag and share our acts on to Rabba Kosaya on tonight that you just begin to encourage somebody else. Come on, we're not rushing this thing on tonight. Come on, there is definitely a word on tonight. You know, let me tell y'all something I was talking about. I'm gonna use this phone to uplift some other people and by inboxing them this live. I was out exercising today with my best friend and my sister. And as we were sitting in the car, they were having a whole conversation and everything like that. And, you know, there are times where I get really, 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 really silent. You guys, excuse me as you're coming in. Come on, please begin to the comment in the comment section at everyone, at followers, at highlights, please. 
hold on just let me just block the phone up very quickly and you know as um i'm sitting there and i'm just thinking you know to myself it was it was raining a lot in Fort Lauderdale today. Excuse me, you guys. I'm inviting people to the live in their inboxes. Please don't come in just looking at me. If you haven't begun to tag and share, if you have not dropped in the comment section at everyone, at followers, at highlights, baby, you are not on one accord with me. Watch this, people of God. So as we're just sitting there and, you know, we're getting ready to start exercising. We're just having conversations in the car and everything like that. And I just begin to think about, you know, just the people of God and everything they're going through. I love rainy weather. And the reason I love rainy weather, people of God, and I want you to start paying attention to this. When it's raining, I just feel like God, Rabbi Kosanya, he uses the trees to bow. I feel like God, Rabbi Kosanya. He uses the branches on the trees to bend and bow when it looks like they're worshiping God. And I just love that type of weather. So while I'm driving today, I just begin to look at the trees in the sky. I begin to look up at the sky and I begin to see all the trees, people of God. And watch this. As I begin to see all the trees in the sky, I just begin to look up to heaven and God just begin to tell me today that everything I lost, I'm about to get back a hundredfold. And I begin to pray because there are so many people, people of God that just, you know, they're just going through so much right now. Let me go ahead and start TikTok also. Hold on, you guys. Come on in and begin to get tag and share. Come on, I'm getting ready to call out some people that I see on my live all the time. Can I just take a few moments to tell y'all I appreciate y'all for following the God in me. And the reason I appreciate you all, people of God, it's because, watch this, you can be on anybody else's live. So for you to come and just, you know, kick it with me, come and, you know, listen to me, to be your encouragement, I don't take it for granted. I really, 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 I really thank God for you. Just hold on, people of God. Okay, I just had to get Facebook, I mean, um, TikTok started also. Come on in, everyone, and begin to tag and share. So listen, you guys, I, I just want to just take the time to just say thank you. I'm going to preach the word of God, but I want to start this live off just a little bit different on today. I want to just tell you, I do not take it for granted that you are just choosing me to encourage you. I do not take it for granted that even with where I came from, my God, you use, you know, me as a way to uplift you and to build you every night. Come on, you guys know I've just started tiktok too everybody on tiktok please do me a favor and begin to come in and share this live come on share this live i need you guys to come in everybody on facebook please tag and share come on share this live tag and share the quicker we can build an audience the quicker i can release the word um also how you doing over there molly on tiktok if i can get you guys to come in on tiktok and on Facebook, as you come in, drop at everyone, the at sign, at sign, at everyone, at followers, at highlights. Come on, can somebody do me a favor and put that in the comment section on TikTok, at everyone, at follower, at followers, and at highlights, so I can begin to please um, also just uh, post this. Hold on, let me see if it'll allow me to pin the comment. Come on, everybody on Facebook, please do me a favor. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I don't know. For some reason, y'all know I'm, I'm still learning TikTok, so y'all pray for me. 
I'm just so excited about what God is doing on TikTok for me. I'm telling you the way people come in telling me I'm blessing them. Come on, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and get started. First of all, let me thank you all for just watching my lives. Thank you all for allowing me to encourage you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I don't take it for granted that you tune in with me every night. And you know, the last uh, day or two, I was going live in the daytime also because a lot of my followers, they work overnight or they're in bed by a certain time. So they want to hear from me live and not just watch the rerun. But let me say this, um, people of God, come on, because there's a message that has to come forward on tonight. But I got to take the next two minutes. Come on to ask you to share this live and to drop in the comment section. Come on at everyone at followers. Come on, Shanita Bryan. I see you on. Come on, I got a few snipers in the spirit. They jump on, tagging, sharing, and praying. Come on, Pretty Diamond, I see you on, sis. Come on, come on, come on, Katrina, I see you on. Tanya Trotter, I see you on. Come on, Jeanette, I see you on. People who follow me regularly, those are the ones I call snipers in the spirit because I truly be like, be like, I, I, I believe that. Come on, they jump on already knowing how to set the atmosphere. I'm big. I already have a huge platform on Facebook. Half a million followers, 60,000 on TikTok. I'm grateful to God, but I'm a different type of minister. I say hit share and tag because I love to encourage people. Come on, just 60 more seconds, people of God. And I'm going to give you the word that God has given me. Come on, on tonight. Come on. Come on, everybody. Give me those hearts. Come on, give me those hearts. Give me those hearts on TikTok tonight. Come on, Facebook, I want you to do the same thing. As I was stating earlier today, people of God, I was in the car and down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the weather, it's raining a lot. And I, I love the rainy weather because I can begin to, I was telling my friend earlier today when I was talking to her on the phone, I was telling Diamond, I'm like, you know, it's not for, I don't just be on here, I don't be out here working out just to work out. Forget the weight. You lose it and come back. You, it, it, you lose it again. Whatever. But it's more of my peace. Let me encourage somebody to find some kind of way to just find peace. To get away from your children. Come on. To get away from, from work. To get away from ministry. To get away from your significant other. Come on. Just get out there and just find peace so you can get from God. So you can pray. So you can really step back and look at what you're facing love it when it rains I want y'all to pay attention when it begins to rain I feel like the trees and the leaves and the branches they just bow like angels before God is so prophetic maybe I'm just so deep but you know I just wanted to share that with you tonight people of God the message on tonight it's two things I'm going to require for you to do the Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. So the only way, people of God, we can come in agreement for what you're needing God to do in your life on tonight is by simply, if I say something that blesses your spirit, begin to tag and share. If I say something that blesses your spirit, I want you to use your thumbs tonight to begin to prophesy over yourself. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need everybody sharing this live on TikTok. There's two things I ask for everybody to do. I ask for you to not get on and just watch me. I ask for you to drop in the comment section. Come on, at everyone, at followers. And then I ask that you get the share button. Tonight we're using our thumbs to prophesy. If I say something that blesses you, I need you to comment and respond back to back to back, people of God, because it shows the enemy, watch this, that you are paying attention. There are oftentimes people of God, we get on people's lives and we sit the phone down and just listen to them talk. No, baby, you got to get active when the devil is getting active. Tonight's message, people of God, come on, Keisha, I just seen you jump on. If I could get you to tag and share. Tonight's message, people of God, come on, thank you for sharing on TikTok, Tiara. Thank you for sharing on TikTok, Devonese. Thank you for sharing on TikTok, One Blood. Come on, come on, share. It takes two seconds to do it. Tonight's message, people of God, that God has given me for everyone that is watching. Watch this. It's called, I Shall Recover All. 
I need somebody to drop that in the comment section twice. Come on, two times back to back. Come on, Tiffany. I see you just jumped on. If I can get you to come in, come on, sharing this live and dropping in the comment section. Come on, at everyone, at followers. Watch this, people of God. I need you to drop in the comment section. I shall. Recover all. I shall recover all. And every time tonight, people of God, you hear me say the word recover. Mighty God, I need you to do Jesus Christ. To begin to use your thumbs and fingers. To begin to comment. To come on one accord. Because tonight, every time I say the word recover, I am literally prophesying into your life. So again, tonight's message, people of God, is I shall recover all. Somebody ought to make it personal on tonight and just drop their name in the comment section. Shakira shall. Come on, recover all. Come on, I don't care if you got to put your children there. You better say they shall recover all. I need some people who are prophetically, come on, trying to speak over themselves on tonight. Who Who is coming in agreement with everything that I am saying. I shall recover all. The definition, people of God, of the word recover, it means to regain possession of something, my God, that was stolen. Oh! Baby, if you weren't paying attention, you shall be alert right now. You shall be paying attention after I just gave you the definition. The definition I said of the word recover, people of God, means to regain possession of something that was stolen from you. There are some of you people of God. Watch this. You saying to yourself, ain't nobody stole nothing from me. Because I ain't nothing to play with. The devil is a liar. By the time I break this live down, you're going to realize that we all are victims, my God, of robbery. I want somebody to put in the comment section, I've been robbed. Come on, when I move, you move. Just like that. When I move, you move. Come on, just like that, baby. I've been robbed. Come on, who is this for? Rabba Kosaya. Reiki Kosaya. Rabba Kosaya. Hold on one second. Come on. I shall recover all. Watch this, people of God. There are some of you. I am right, real. I'm, 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 I'm wide open and I'm realizing, watch this, that during the holiday season, you have two different type of people. I want somebody to drop this in the comment section, two different type of people. During the holiday season, watch this, you have two, come on, hear me, and hear me well, uno dos. You have two different type of people. What are you saying, Evangelist Shakira? You have your people, people of God who, when the holidays begin to come, Watch this, they are out singing, shopping, and smiling. I'm okay with that, baby. If that's no, if that is your life, that is, you know, good for you, baby. You deserve it. Come on, all for uplifting and encouraging, and most importantly, clapping when you win. But could I bust somebody bubble on tonight? <laughs> Could I keep it real with somebody on tonight? Although there are people, watch this, that are out there singing, shopping, and smiling every holiday season. Watch this, there are also a second type of people out there that are struggling, suffering, and feeling sorrowful. Ooh. Could I bless somebody on tonight with this one? Could I bless somebody on tonight with this one? Come on, begin to share this live, everybody, on TikTok. Come on, come on, come on. Let me see those hearts. Hold on, people of God. I want to just comment in the comment section at followers because I didn't do it myself on TikTok. So it will alert everyone that I'm on. Hold on, everybody, on Facebook. There are people, watch this. There are people, hold on. Hold on, hold on, just hold on. Hold on, hold on. Rabba. Reiki Andere. Rabba Baba Kosata. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hold on, y'all. Let me just drop this in the comment section. Come on, because I don't want to do something I didn't tell you to do. 
I said, watch this, people of God. Although there are people during the holiday season that are singing, shopping, and smiling, there are also people, people of God, that are out there struggling. They're suffering, oh, Jesus Christ. They're suffering and they're feeling sorrowful. I don't know who needs to hear this on tonight, but do I got some honest people that say, I don't care who watching, watch this, but you're talking about me. Come on, just drop some hand emojis in the comment section. Oh, I want you to begin to comment. You're talking about me. Now, don't get it twisted. If you see me out in Walmart, you might see me with a smile on my face, but baby, I'm battling something behind closed doors. I'm battling something. The minute I get my household, I'm battling something. Every time I open my bank account, I'm battling something. Every time I get up out of my bed, I'm battling something. Somebody drop that in the comment section. I'm, I'm battling something. But even in the midst of you battling something, God is telling me to come and tell you on tonight that watch this. You shall recover all. So God begin to show me on tonight, people of God, that during the holidays, there are two different type of people. You got the people who are out there singing, shopping, and smiling. But then you got others who are struggling, suffering, and feeling sorrowful. The enemy always use the holidays my God to do one or two things I don't know who I'm ministering to on tonight but baby if you're the only one that I'm talking to that's watching this live I've done my job y'all can sit on here and sit and watch me if you want I just told you before 2023 is out the enemy is going to get real active what do you mean by that Dr. Shakira attacks are going to come what do you mean by that Dr. Shakira people are going to try to interrupt your peace. What do you mean by that, Dr. Shakira? The devil gonna try to take you down. I don't care if you walk out the door and you get somebody singing jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Come on, there are some people mentally jingling, trying to keep their mind sane. He said that anytime the enemy, oh Jesus Christ, uh, he comes forth during the holidays, people of God. The enemy always used the holidays to do one or two things. Watch this. Uh, to bring joy. Oh Jesus Christ. Or to interrupt your peace. Hear me and hear me well. The enemy is so conniving and he's so deceiving. Watch this. Uh, he will give you a gift. Uh, he'll bless you. There are people who think uh, God is blessing everybody. No, baby, no. Uh, I want somebody to drop in the comment section. No, he not. No, he not. Do you know that the enemy reward his people too? He will watch this people of God to keep you stuck. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, to keep you messed up. Uh, it'll look like you're being blessed by God and it's the devil the whole time come on I don't know who this is for hear me at Rabbi Kosaya and hear me well come on I just said I need to see those hearts come on I need to see that y'all getting active with me I need to see those comments I ask everybody to drop in the comment section come on at everyone the at sign and everyone tagging and sharing watch this do you know that the enemy is so deceptive, people of God? Watch this. I'm going to mess somebody here and went up with this one. Rabbi Kosaya. That, ooh, Rabbi Kosaya. To that person who just said on TikTok that I'm speaking to you. May the peace of God get your home. Rabbi Kosaya. Watch this, people of God. The enemy is so deceptive. He'll come in, watch this, and bring you joy. Just to turn around and interrupt your peace. This is why some people, it look like one minute they're blacks and the next minute they down bad and out. This is why people of God, one minute, it'll look like you just got blessed. Rabbi Kosaya with something brand new. And then the next minute, my God, it don't work anymore. Rabbi Kosaya. This is why people of God, it'll look like one minute in your relationship that you got it all together and God is working it out. And the next minute, my God, it's failing. Oh, Jesus Christ, the enemy will bless you. Watch this. Just to turn around and break you down.
Somebody ought to drop in the comment section two times back to back. I only want God's blessing. I don't. I, I only want God's blessings. God, if it ain't from you, I don't want it. Rabbi Kosaya. Somebody ought to put that in the comment section. That if it ain't from you, God, I, I don't want it. I'm in a season of my life that everything that's connected to me has to come from you. Why? Because anything that is sent by the devil. Rabbi Kosaya. Who Jesus, at any moment, he can take it back. He said the enemy always uses the holidays, watch this, to do two things. To first bring you joy, and then second, interrupt your peace. I want somebody to drop that in the comment section because you need to know that your peace being interrupted, that is not from God. Come on, you being blessed and then it being taken away from you. That is not from God. There are some of you that have been blessed with low income and section 8. And come on, God, you was just starting to get by and then you turned around and lost it because of a person or for a reason. And God is saying that it's not of me. The devil will bless you. Just to take it away from you. He'll sing you, watch this, the perfect stepdaddy for your kids. Rabba Kosaya. Just to, ooh, Jesus Christ, whip that thing right from under you. Because he knows that if he blesses you and then he takes it back, the enemy is an Indian giver. You know how we used to say in elementary school, I don't like Indian givers. I don't like people who give me something and then they want it back. No, keep what you got. That's how the enemy is. He'll give it to you and take it back just to break you. Who am I speaking to on tonight? Somebody ought to put in the comment section, I shall recover all. I said every time I say that on tonight, I want you to comment your name and say you shall recover all. You got to prophesy over yourself. Watch this. I shall recover all. Remember I said recover. People of God means to regain possession of something that was stolen from you. There are some of you people of God that have been robbed. Watch this. And you have been too blind to notice it. Oh, I promise you I'm going somewhere. I, pro I promise you I'm going somewhere on tonight. See, this ain't going to be a message that everybody likes, but I'm okay with it because it's going to bless who it needs to be blessed. There are some of you people of God that have been robbed and you are too blind to notice it. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, God, open my eyes. I know you're saying no. She can't be talking to me. Ain't nobody pull a gun on me and rob me of nothing. No, she 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 can't be talking to me because ain't nobody broke in my house and took anything. She can't be talking to me because ain't nobody snatched nothing from me and take nothing from me. I said what I said. Rabbi Kosaya, there are some of you that have been robbed. And you are too blind, watch this, to notice. Watch this. What happens, people of God, when you realize, mighty God, people of God, watch this. What happened when you realize that it wasn't a person who robbed your home, but it was a demonic devil? Rabbi Kosaya. Y'all better catch this in the spiritual realm. I'm teaching right now. I know y'all want me to go higher, but I'm teaching right now. What happens, people of God, when you were looking for the robber to come in with a black ski mask on? What happened, people of God, when you were looking for the robber to jump out and pull a gun on you? No, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's moving through spiritual principalities. So you've been robbed. And you don't even know it because Rabbi Kosaya, you're looking for the enemy to only rob you in the natural realm. He's sitting back laughing. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. They too dumb and too blind to see that I'm working in the background. Rabbi Kosaya, he's Rabbi Kosaya. He's sitting up laughing. But somebody ought to put in the comment section, I shall, I shall recover all. Watch this, can I ask you a question? The ones who say to themselves, I ain't been robbed. Can I ask you a question? When is the last time you've smiled? You ain't even realize the enemy robbed you of your joy. Can I ask you again? Can I ask you a question since you ain't been robbed? Watch this. 
when the last time you smiled? I ain't talking about genuinely smiled. I, I, I mean like fake smile. That, that smile you put on when people at church ask you, how you doing? And you say, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. No, 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 no. When the last time you were genuinely happy? When the last time you went through a whole day, my God, with nothing but peace, but you was just, my God, happy all day. When the last time you smiled? Come on. If you've been crying lately, I want to challenge you to drop those tear emojis. Come on, come on, come on. This is the atmosphere, Rabakosaya, to break up some things. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, people of God. I need honesty on here. On tonight, you've been robbed by the devil and you can't even see him because you're looking for somebody with a ski mask or a gun and the enemy is sitting back robbing you. Watch this right in front of your face. I don't know who need to hear this on tonight. I got a question. I said, when the last time you smiled? When the last time, watch this, you were genuinely happy in a relationship that you've been locked in for years? I pray for everybody who's dropping the tear emojis on tonight. I dispatch angels, my God, to your bedside on tonight. When the last time you were really happy in that relationship? It started out and everything was going good, baby. Y'all was wearing matching outfits and come on, y'all checked up on each other. Y'all used to fall asleep on the phone. My God, it was always you and him and him and her. Watch this. And at some point, things begin to change. You want to sit on here and say you ain't been robbed? Why? Watch this. When you're speaking to somebody about the relationship, you say this. I don't know what happened demonic the devil does two things during the holiday season God uh, does not bless everybody the enemy will bless you too uh, just to snatch it right up from under you watch this to break you when last time when the last time somebody told you they love you and their actions lined up with their words <clears throat> when the last time you ain't been robbed I'm asking a question when the last time Rabbi Kosaya, somebody ought to put in the comment section God help me when the, when the last time could I, could I dig up some things on tonight can I expose some things on tonight could I pluck up some things on tonight can I open your eyes to some things on tonight you're looking for a burglar to come with a gun and a ski mask and the whole time the enemy is literally sitting at the dinner table in your house and sitting on the couch in your living room. My God, hear me and hear me well and robbing you of everything that's connected to you spiritually. Somebody drop this in the comment section. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. When the last time has somebody appreciated you? I'm just asking. Maybe you're like me and you say, I don't care about the holidays. My friends are on here right now. They'll tell you right now. I don't care about the holidays. I don't care about gifts. It's always me doing for everybody. Watch this, people of God. I just like to go through the malls and not buy anything and watch the families, the fathers with their children and, their, and the mothers. And I like to hear the Christmas music and look at the Christmas lights. And that give me peace. I know y'all saying it. Y'all like she crazy. But when you done been behind bars so many holidays, it's the little things that count. Somebody drop in the comment section, I shall recover all. I said on tonight, every time I say I shall recover all, I want you to start commenting your name with the, the sentence, shall recover all. Your children's name with the sentence, shall recover all. Why? Because we're causing a stampede in the heavenly realms on tonight. Satan has one job. And that's to kill, steal, and destroy. There are some of you, people of God, the enemy has been killing you. Watch this with depression and, and, and misery and unhappiness and, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, anxiety and sickness. But you got to be real with yourself. You, you got to be honest with yourself. And so often we do this. Uh. 
You ever been so mad with a person you wanted to cuss them out? My God, you wanted to hurt them, you wanted to harm them, and all you could do is this. <laughs> you laughing. <laughs> they go to thinking you crazy. No, baby. Rabba Kosaya. I ain't crazy. I'm just trying to keep from reacting. So I smile. Could I see the smiling emojis in the comment section? Hear me and hear me well. The enemy comes to kill people of God by causing all kind of different uh, feelings and emotions to flare up. You find yourself depressed. My God, you find yourself uh, broken. You find yourself frustrated to a point where you just want to go up and go off. And God is saying, this is what the enemy is coming to do. This is why this happens every holiday watch this people of God he said that he comes to make sure your personal life is it's non-existing oh Jesus Christ somebody might have missed that I'm gonna back it up because you might have missed it I said the enemy comes to kill and to make sure your personal life is non-existing watch this people of God he wants to make sure that watch this you do nothing to make you happy I ain't talking about making the children happy I ain't talking about making your significant other happy. I'm talking about making you happy. He comes to kill that. I ain't got time to do nothing for myself. Rabba Kosaya, because I got to make sure my kids good. I ain't got time to do nothing for myself, because uh, I got to make sure my family good. I ain't got time to do nothing for myself, because uh, I got to make sure my friends good. I ain't got time to do nothing for myself, because uh, I got to make sure this and that is good. Watch this. The enemy comes to kill, and you don't even see him killing you. You don't even understand that your life is Rabba Kosaya non existent. I'm just living, but I'm not living. I wake up with breath in my body, but I'm not living. Come on, drop those tear emojis if you're feeling me. If this live is for you, oh, I feel the presence of God. I get up every day and I clock in at work. But I'm not existing. I, I get up every day and I do what I need to do uh, for everybody else but myself. But they don't realize that I'm not. I'm not existing. With my blessing with this on tonight. So the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Rabba Kosaya. Rabba Kosaya. He, he, he tries to come and he tries to over, over, overwhelm you with things like your bills. So you feel like, ah, 24 7, all I can do is hustle. I gotta go on my job 24 7. I tell my best friend Pam this all the time. She works 12 to 12 sometimes, two, three days straight. I'm talking about barely any time to, to sleep. She just said to me the other day, since I worked 36 hours in two days. I said, that ain't of God. The enemy will overwhelm you. I'm just keeping it. Somebody put that in the comment section. That ain't of God. See, I'm giving somebody clarity right now. Every day you wake up, your mind is on money and don't hustle. And you don't even understand that the devil is trying to destroy you that way. You have no time to rest. You're exhausted. You are overwhelmed. Because all that's on your mind is I got to hustle. I'm going to bless you with something though. I got to work overtime. I, I, I got to get this extra money in because it's the holidays. I got to provide for my kids. I got to show up and show out. It's only me. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to work. I got to go to work. I got to deal with my business. I got to break out. I got to do Uber. I got to watch cars. I got to this. I got to all this you got to do. You don't even realize the devil's slowly killing you. God is telling me to tell you on tonight, you workaholic, you. Watch this. I respect your hustle. Watch this. But if you're always going, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta get this money up. I gotta provide. Then God is saying, watch this. Why do you need me? Oh! I'm gonna say,
say it again. There are some of you that are praying for God, Rabba Kosaya, to bless you. You're praying for God to financially come through. But before God can even dispatch angels, my God, you're overworking yourself. Not even realizing, Rabba Kosaya. Every time you say, I gotta hustle, God is saying, sit back, I got this. Come on, who am I speaking to? Not even realize you're sitting there saying, I gotta hustle, but God is saying, baby, just sit back, I got this. He can't even dispatch angels because you're busy trying to do it yourself, not even realize that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He's trying to kill you. So you work so hard until your back go out on you. You, you work so hard until your legs and your body begin to ache. You work so hard until you forget to do things. You work so hard until your mind only consume my God working, but your blood pressure is shooting up. working so hard your your ankles and your feet are filled with water you 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 working so hard watch this people of God come on come on who am I speaking to come on sometimes you can't even eat oh Jesus <coughs> I just heard the Holy Ghost say you working so hard you hustling so hard you forget to eat that is not of God God is saying, I can't step in because you're taking over. You don't need my help. You're praying to me, but you won't even give me time to do it. Who is this message for? One tonight, God is saying, I love you. I want to be there for you, but you won't even give me time to do it. Miss Know-It-All, Mr. Know-It-All, you think you got it all together. You want to do it your way. And I'm saying, kick your feet up and just rest a little bit. Give me time to move. Give me time to show you. Give me time to answer your prayers. I cannot answer your prayers if you're at in the question and answering it also. Where they do that at? How do you pray to God in Rabba Kosaya? You ask a question and you try to do that. You try to answer it also. Why do you need God? There are some of you people of God, the enemy has came in, watch this, to steal your dreams. I said he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So I just told you how he's trying to take you out. Watch this physically. He's also came in to steal your dreams. Why? I'm asking you, the one that's watching this video, forget everybody else who on here tonight. This is just me, you, and God, baby. Why? Why have you not done the things you desire to do? Why? I don't know who needs to hear this. But God just told me to give you confirmation. Marry them. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you've been praying. You've been praying on your confirmation. Should I, should I tell or not? God is saying, they're the one. Marry them. It's going to come with trials and tribulations, just like every relationship do, because what people don't understand is when you get married, mighty God, the only thing that changes, watch this, the honor before God, the, the vows, the, the, the sacred place, uh, my God, but you still go through ups and downs. Mighty God, hear me and hear me well. Marry them. I don't know who needed this, but God is saying they're the one. You know if you've been praying about it. I heard the Holy Spirit say, they're the one. They're the one. See, they're, oh, Jesus, God. God said you've been hurting. Come on, this is why you're afraid to make the move. But God is saying, they're the one. They're the one. They're the one. Come on, you got a good thing. You prayed for me to send you a good thing, and I'm showing you a good thing. But because of all the turmoil and torture you've been through before, you're scared to make the move. God is saying, they're the one. I'm asking you, why have you allowed the enemy to steal your dreams? To steal Rabba Kosaya, your vision. There are some of you, you dreamed of owning the house. You dreamed of buying the car. You Rabba Kosaya, you dreamed of writing the book. You dreamed of starting the business. You dreamed of, 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 of getting the food truck. You Rabba Kosaya, you dreamed of doing this and doing that. You dreamed of walking down the aisle and saying, I do, but somewhere along the way, the enemy came and stole. He stole your dreams. There's some of you that have been robbed, people of God. Watch this by the devil stealing your joy. He said, you've allowed the, 
remove Jesus Christ, the enemy, to come in and steal your joy. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He's came in. He stole your joy. He stole your peace. He stole your finances. Oh, Jesus Christ, son. He stole your reason for living. Rabba Kosaya. He Rabba Kosaya. He stole your enthusiasm. Rabba Kosaya. He stole your strong will. He, he stole your, your, your go getterness. He, he's taken everything away from you. And God is saying, why? Watch this. How can the enemy steal your joy when he wasn't the one who gave it to you anyways? How can the enemy steal your joy if he wasn't the one who gave it to you anyways? He's coming to destroy, kill, steal, and destroy. Destroy relationships. <clears throat> Let me, can I say this to you? Thank you, Holy Spirit. There are some people the enemy has sent in your life. Watch this, people of God. They are, oh Jesus Christ. They have not came to break your spirit. They've come, oh Jesus Christ. They've come to break your soul. <clears throat> when somebody break your spirit, it's easy. Okay, I'm I'm broken for the moment. I just need a couple days and I'm gonna get over them. I'm gonna just change my number. I'm gonna get over them. I'm gonna just move. I'm gonna get over them. I ain't gonna answer the phone no more. I'm gonna get over them. But baby, let me tell you, you'll know when somebody's sick in your life by the devil. I'm talking about they so nasty. They'll come and break your soul. I'm talking about in the natural realm. Break me in the spiritual realm. Meaning, break my heart. Break me. Break me in the spiritual realm. We done all been through that. Oh, they broke my heart. Broke my heart. But you know somebody is from the devil when they come in and try to break your soul. I'm talking about they don't want you living, breathing, eating, nothing. Thing. Leaving your house, getting out of bed, nothing. They do any and everything to destroy you and knock you down to ground zero. They don't want you with no money. They don't want you watch this looking good. Rabba Kosaya. They don't want you getting up and drinking yourself. All they want you to do is mope and cry over them. Have you ever been connected to somebody who broke your soul? I dare you to put it in the comment section. They broke my soul. They broke my soul. Come on, drop it. Be honest. Drop it. Drop that thing with tear emojis if you got to. Come on, with those hearts over on TikTok. Come on, come on. With those hearts on Facebook. Drop those emojis. Sick by the devil. I was in love with a demonic demon and didn't even know it. I was best friends with a demonic devil and didn't even know it. Do I got some honest people on here? I went to the family reunion with a bunch of demons and didn't even know it. Yeah. I sat in church and worshiped and prayed with a bunch of devils and didn't even know it. I'm talking about people who will try to take you out. They don't want to just break your spirit, baby. They want to break your soul. They don't want you to be nothing when they go. Somebody should put in the comment section, though I shall recover all. Watch this, people of God. I shall recover all. Come on. Drop that two times in the comment section. I said we got to prophesy over ourselves with our fingers. Watch this. They would try everything possible to destroy you. But God is saying you shall recover all. There's a man in the Bible, people of God, that was tested. And some people get it wrong. Some people, they don't read the whole Bible because it's a bunch of chapters. And they, they begin to think that the enemy tested the devil. You are wrong. There are some of you watch this. In the beginning, the devil was testing you because that's what the devil does. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But because now God is saying you're in your season of recover, the enemy is not testing you right now. Watch this. God is nominating you to be tested. Job was an upright man. He was one of God's favorite. God knew that no matter what the enemy did to the devil, he will not curse God. So God nominated him. Anytime, baby, you being nominated, you about to get an award. Somebody ought to put in the comment section, watch this. God just nominated me. 
I know you think my life, watch this, looks like the devil is breaking me down. I know it looks like I'm losing everything, but that's not the case. See, it's different this time around. The first time I was tested by the devil, I was broken down by the devil, but it's different this time around. God nominated me. Drop it in the comment section. God nominated me. Watch this, people of God. I want to tell you a little story about a man named Job. And it's up for you to put your name there to receive it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to give you the Bible version. And then I'm going to give you the hood version. I need somebody to drop that in the comment section. I need the hood version. I need the hood version. I need you to break it down for me, baby. Because I don't understand every time everything I read in the Bible sometimes. I need you to break it down for me. Why? Because I don't open my Bible all the time. I just need some honest people on here. Watch this. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm Job. J-O-B, I'm Job. I'm going to just start, people of God, at first, chapter 1, verse 6. The Bible says this. One day when the angels came to report to God, Satan, who was the de designated accuser, came along with them. God singled out Satan and said, what have you been up to? Watch this. Watch this. Basically, God and his angels were sitting around chatting. And all of a sudden, Satan came up on him. God spotted him in the crowd and he like, what's up? What you been up to? What you here for? Verse 8 says this. God said to Satan, watch this. Have you noticed? Oh, Jesus. Hold on. I forgot something. Let me go back. He said, what have you been up to? Satan answered God. Going here and there, checking things out on earth. That means, people of God, that the enemy is always watching. Verse 8 says this, God said to Satan, have you noticed my friend Job? There's no one quite like him. He's honest and true to his word, totally devoted to God and hating evil. Verse 8 in the hood version means this, have you noticed my servant Shakira? Have you noticed my servant Bree Love? Have you noticed my servant Tawanda? They good people. They try to do right. They just down there trying to survive. Come on, they praise me. They worship me. Even when things get hard, they still love me. I'm giving you the Bible version and I'm giving you the hood version because I need you to get this. Verse 9, people of God in 10 says this. Satan said to, to God, so do you think Job does all that out of sheer goodness of his heart? Basically, do you think Tamika worship me because he got a good, she got a good heart? Watch this. I, why? Why? Why do you think it's so good? Satan told God, it's because you pamper him like a pet. You make sure nothing bad ever happens to him or his family or his possessions and you bless everything that he does so he cannot lose. So basically what he's saying is God, Satan is going to God saying the reason they worship you is because you give them everything they need. But start attacking their finances. Start attacking their relationship. Start attacking their children. And watch how they turn on you. Watch this. Verse 11 says this. But what do you think would happen if you reached down and took everything away from them? Satan says. They curse you with their very mouth. Verse 12 says this. God replied, we'll see. Go ahead. Do what you want. But whatever you do, you better not hurt them. Do you know no matter people try to how hard people try to have you killed? Do you know no matter how hard people try to take you out, they can try with the voodoo priest, they can try with black magic, white magic, they can try to do everything to destroy you. They need God's permission. Somebody put in the comment section, watch this. I shall live and not die. Come on, you ought to comment that over yourself. Verse 13 through 15 says this. Sometime later, while Job's children were having one of their parties at their home, watch this. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Having the party at the home of the oldest son, a messenger came running to Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the donkeys grazing in the field next to us. When they attacked, they stole all the animals and they killed the field of their hands. I'm the only one that got away to tell you what happened. So now, people of God, the enemy is starting to attack everything Job uses to make money. 
There are some of you, you're wondering why your finances are being hit. Back to back to back to back, people of God. Watch this. Then verse 16 says this. And while he was still talking, another messenger arrived and said, Bolts of lightning struck the sheep and the shepherds and fried them. Burned them to a crisp. I'm the only way that got out alive to tell you what happened. It's being one attack after another. Verse 17 says this. And while he was still talking to the other messenger, another one arrived and said, Shadowlands coming from three directions raided the camels and massacred the camels' divers. I was the only one able to make it alive. Job is being attacked and gets life back to back. And then again, the Bible says while he was talking to another messenger, someone else arrived and said, your children were having a party at the home of your oldest son when the tornado swept in like a desert and struck the house. It collapsed on the young people and they all died. And I'm the only one who's still alive to tell you what happened. What happens, people of God? When it becomes a domino effect of attacks. Somebody drop that in the comment section. I'm being attacked each way. What happens, people of God? When, watch this, God don't even let you get over one mm, Jesus Christ situation before another one happens. God don't even allow you to get over the heartbreak before the car start acting up. He don't allow you to get over the car start acting up before you get sick in the body. He don't allow you before uh, to heal in your body before the children start cutting up. It be one thing after another after another the Bible then goes into talking people of God and it begins to say how Job began to strip off his clothes and as he began to strip off his clothes, watch this people of God he began to say to himself I'm going to get before God and pray watch this the Bible also talks about that after that the enemy began to strike Job with all kind of painful sores and make him sick in his body and his wife said curse God and die and he told her are you a fool I would never do that some people will stand back and watch your situation and want you to just leave want you to be suicidal want you to give up on your prayers want you to give up on God because they see you in a broken stage somebody put in the comment section I shall recover all Job, people of God even in the midst, watch this of everything that was going on he still prayed for people while he was going through his own struggles do I got some people on here on tonight that even while you're going mighty God through your own struggles, you still make time to help others while you're going through your own struggles, you still tell, uh, um, have time to, to tell God bless others while you're going through your own struggles you still show up for everybody else Somebody put that in the comment section. I'm there for everybody. I'm going to fast forward because it's a long chapter. It's 42 chapters. Watch this, people of God. But because Job kept his faith, because he knew that eventually he shall recover all. He knew that eventually, watch this, although my kids died, although my finances got attacked, although my health got attacked, although my wife acting up, I still trust God. Can I get you to drop in the comment section two times back to back? I still trust God. Watch this, people of God. When I jump to Job chapter 42, verse 10 through 17 says this, and I need you to catch this in the spiritual realm quick. It says, after Job had interceded for his friends, God, watch this, recovered his fortune. Oh! After Job stood in the gap for somebody else while going through all of his bad times. Watch this. God recovered his fortune. Watch this. And then the Bible says this in verse 10. And then doubled it. Somebody ought to put in the comment section. I'm about to get double for my trouble. Double for my trouble. You ought to comment that thing seven times back to back until it manifests. Because seven is the number of completion. Rabbi Kosiah. After Job had interceded, interceded for his friends. God recovered his fortune. And then doubled it. All his brothers and sisters and friends came to his house and celebrated. They told him how sorry they were and consoled him for all the trouble God had brought him. God didn't bring me no trouble, baby. 
I was just nominated because God knew that I would pass the test. Watch this. The Bible says that each of them brought generous housewarming gifts. Where were you when I was dying? Where was you when I was struggling? Where was you when it was that time of the year and everybody was out singing Christmas carols and celebrating and I was home struggling and suffering? Where were you? The Bible say, but when he got blessed double, when he recovered all and got double for his trouble, all of his family began to show up. Verse 12 says this, God blessed Job's, watch this, latter life even more than his earlier life meaning he was blessed even more after he went through the process he was blessed even more after he came out through the struggle he was blessed even more after he walked through the valley of the shadow of death he ended up watch this with 14,000 sheep 6,000 camels 1,000 oxen and 1,000 donkeys he also had seven more sons and three daughters he named his first daughter Dove, the second Jesus Christ Cinnamon, and the third Dark Eyes. There was not a woman in the country as beautiful as his daughters. Their father treated them as equals with their brothers, providing the same inheritance. The Bible also says this, Job lived on another 140 years so that he can see his children and his grandchildren four generations of them I don't know who needs to hear this but God is giving you double for your trouble you shall recover all you shall recover all could I, could, I, could I prophesy over somebody you shall recover your mindset you shall recover your peace you shall recover new friends you shall recover finances you shall recover relationships you shall recover the business you shall recover your health again you rabba kosaya you shall recover the marriage you rabba kosaya you shall recover the house you shall recover a better job you shall recover the car you shall recover your income taxes taxes coming around again and there still are people fighting to get theirs watch this from this year God is saying you shall recover all you shall recover watch this your trust to begin to love again you shall recover back pay for something that has been held up you shall recover it but you gotta believe it God is saying you got to walk, walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And even if you're being hit from every side, thank you for the gifts on TikTok. To everyone who's been sowing gifts on TikTok. And even though you shout, watch this, you're being hit from every side. <clears throat> there are some of you who have been in car accidents. with these car accidents you being hit boom 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 you know four car collision five car collision and if you haven't been in one you've seen one where it seems like you're getting hit every which way God is saying he's giving you double for your trouble and you shall recover all remember people of God I said this I said that the definition of recover means to be regain possession of something that was stolen there are some of you that have been robbed in the spiritual realm and you don't even know it because you're looking for a black ski mask and somebody with a gun. No, the devil is sitting back in your house. Mm, Jesus Christ, robbing you of everything that brings you peace and joy. This is why there's chaos there. But God is saying, I've nominated you my faithful servant. And he said, because you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he said to tell you, you shall recover all times two. I want somebody to put in the comment section times two. I'm leveling up on a whole nother level. Watch this. Times two. Come on, who is this for on tonight? You say, I'm doing it times two. Come on, drop that in the comment section. Times two. I'm doing it. Do it. Come on, time soon. God is doing it for me. Time soon. Come on, who is this for? Who is this for on tonight? 
<coughs> who is this for on tonight? So tonight, people of God, I want to challenge you to sow a recovery all seed. Somebody drop that in the comment section. I'm about to recover all. Come on, I'm about to recover all. Drop it in the comment section. Let me go ahead and put the disclaimer out there. <clears throat> Anytime, people of God, an offering is being called. Watch this. There are going to be people in the comment section. I'm going to try to block them as quick as they comment. But this is where I'm asking you before I even call the seed amount. That you go and pray to God and you ask God for yourself. Is this a message for you to sow in? Watch this. We're getting ready to sow a Job. Watch this. 42 and 10 seed. A recovery of double for your trouble. The seed amount we're going to sow tonight, people of God, is $42 and 10 cents. $42 and 10 cent. Some of you are going to sow $42 and 10 cent. Some of you are going to sow $142 and 10 cent. But I need you to put in the comment section, I shall recover all. Come on, what is this message for tonight? Come on, there are some of you running quickly and you're sewing. I put the phone on vibrate because when I take off the ringer so people can hear how many people sewing, some people they get offended and I don't know, some people it scares them. But I'm saying tonight, don't worry about nobody else that is watching. You know if you need to put a recover seed in the ground. The definition of recover, people of God, is to regain possession of something that is stolen. Job verse 42 and 10 talks about how Job, Jesus Christ, he began to receive everything the devil took from him. God began to restore everything. Come on, there's a 42 10 seed. I want you to begin to sow. Come on, Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Venmo. The ways to give it to the top of the screen, people of God, for everyone on TikTok. For the ones on Facebook, it's to the bottom. 754-246-0580 Some of you are saying I don't have that amount So you're going to sell $20.40 But I'm saying On tonight you might got to stretch There are people I know that struggle And haven't put a seed in the ground yet That I know personally And I'm okay with that But watch this people of God I'm telling you, the minute you begin to step out on faith, God can begin to move. Hear me and hear me well. Come on, we're sewing on tonight, $42.10. I want somebody to drop it in the comment section. I shall recover all. Come on, if you're needing God to recover you, watch this. Mighty God, in multiple situations of your life, I want you to stretch and sew that one forty-two to end. You say, God, I'm like a, I'm like that bad collision car accident where it's four or five cars in one accident. I'm being hit from every side. So I got to sow that 142.10. Come on. I shall recover all. Put it in the comment section. Recover. Recover. Come on. As you begin to sow, I want you to comment in the comment section. I sowed. Come on. There are some of you that need to put a seed in the ground for you and your significant other. I'm saying trust God. It's being recovered on tonight. It's up to you to receive it. Pray about it first. Don't just sow. 754-246-0580. This is for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Vimo. People of God, if you're sewing via Zelle, Gum G U M Ministries would pop up. That's for God. Use me. Come on, begin to sew. It's too many ways to give for you not to sew on tonight. Come on, you got Chime, you got Vimo. 754-246-0580 Put in the comment section People of God Come on, I shall recover I shall recover Come on, I done lost a bunch of things But I shall recover it all I done almost lost my mind But I shall recover it all Come on, put a recovery seed in the ground Pray about it Pray about it Pray about it Pray about it Come on Apple Pay, yes, it's the only number that is different. Apple Pay, people of God, I'm pinning it to the bottom for Facebook. Come on, Apple Pay is a different number. It's 954-245-7379 on Apple Pay. I just pinned it to the bottom of the screen on Facebook. I shall recover all. Let me call out some names. There are people sewing. And just talk to them. Belinda B., I received your seed. Brittany Carter Grimes, I received your seed, the 142.10.
uh, uh, Irene Lucas, I received your seed. Please do not jump off without me praying first. A lot of people, they sow and they jump off. No, let me bless your seed. Myra 6K, seed received. Lovely um, seed received. Geneva, seed received. Shanisha, seed received. Taisha, seed received. Q Baby 24, seed received. Come on, I want you to begin to sow on tonight. I'm going to wait. Because I truly believe, somebody put it in the comment section, I'll recover all. I believe sometimes people really need to go before God and pray. Come on, 754-246-0580. Come on, come on. I want you to begin to drop it. Drop it in the comment section. Come on, come on, come on. Comment, I sold. I sold, I sold. Come on. There are a bunch of seeds being sold. $42.10. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What do you do, people of God, when nothing you've tried work? You got to try something else. Some of you say, this is my first time doing this. I'm saying, don't trust me, trust God. I know my ministry is fertile ground. There are people who will sit on here for, for hours. I can't even put up half of the testimonies I got. You got to trust God. God, I want to go into the new year with a new start. So I'm going to put this $42.10 in the ground. God, I, I want to give this relationship another try. So I'm going to put the $142.10 in the ground. God, I need you to resurrect and recover my business. It's been slow lately. So I'm going to show the $142.10 on the $42.10. I just said Job. 42 and 10 talks about how they recovered all. Tiffany Bowman, I received your seed. Uh, woman of God, Ebony, I received your seed. Uh, woman of God, Carolyn, I received your seed. Shay C, I received your seed. Stacy Jones, I received your seed. Melody, I received your seed. Crystal H, I received your seed. Deborah Turner, I received your seed. Marcus Scott, I received the 142.10. Bracelets by Shells, I received the 142.10. It's a lot of people sewing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, trust God. I'm Trust God. Trust God. Don't let nobody distract you from planting when you know this word was for you. Them people watch this living their best life and you home struggling and going through it mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. You know if this word was for you. I've tried everything. I've tried everything. Yes, Cash App Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Venmo. 754-246-0580. The ways to give is on the top of the screen. Mar Marasia Harris, seed receive. Keandra, seed receive. Leslie, seed receive. Indiana Nor, seed receive. Steven Smith, seed receive. Refreshments by K, I received the 142.10. Come on, there's a bunch of people sewing. Somebody say, I know what your word would do. I'm blessed by it. Maybe God is faithful. I'm just somebody he, he uses. I love you, his, uh, his lady. Come on, don't get off, people of God, without me praying over the seed. Come on, just two more minutes I'm going to give. Watch this. Two more minutes I'm going to give for you to sow. If you don't have a seed to sow, it's okay. God will bless you. But please don't comment and knock other people who got it to give. Don't do I hate that. I, I hate that. I hate, I hate angry people who who because you don't got it you mad with the word no you just still say god please bless me you know my heart he'll bless you he'll bless you but there are some people who have no choice but to sow their way out of this this is personal this is personal we're going to begin to pray over the seeds it's a lot of people sowing we're going to begin to pray over the seeds Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I ask that you bless. Bless every person, Lord God, who was on this live on tonight and they just really 
They really just don't have it to give. They genuinely, Lord God, just don't have it to give. But the, the, the desires of their heart, Lord God, was to sow into this word. I ask that you bless them. Bless them, Lord God, beyond measures. Father, I pray for everybody who sowed the seed on tonight. That I shall recover all seed on tonight. And Father, as you begin to bless them, whatever they sowed on tonight, Father, I ask, Lord God, that you just allow it to come back a thousandfold instantly suddenly lord god after you bless them financially back for the seed i ask lord god that you begin to show up and show out in each and every one of their situations god recover what it is they need you to recover in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen come on if you sow the seed on tonight i want you to comment amen if you sow by faith on tonight i want you to comment amen I just, oh, Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to comment, amen. Come on, drop it in the comment section, amen. You shall recover all. You shall recover everything the enemy stole from you. There are some of you with loved ones that are behind bars and you just want them home. God is saying you shall recover all. Your family should be put together again. There are some of you that got mothers and fathers, my God, that are sick. God is saying they shall recover, my God, their health again. Do not worry. You shall recover all. Everybody's sowing for different reasons. I ask that God begin to show up and show out. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I upload every live video thereafter. Follow me, people of God, on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. I only got one page. If it don't say 60-something thousand followers, it's not me. Just Evangelist Shakira. Not Evangelist Shakira underscore. It's a fake page re reported. It's just Evangelist Shakira. Look for 60-something thousand followers. I ain't inboxing nobody. I ain't sending no requests. I ain't requesting no cash apps. It's not me. On, on Instagram, it's Shakira underscore the realtor. I only have one page and you'll look for the blue check. On Facebook, people of God, it's Shakira McFadden. Only one page. If it don't say half a million followers and don't have a blue check, it's not me. People of God, use wisdom. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Tune in tomorrow morning. I'll definitely be back. Listen. Also, everybody on TikTok, in my bio, you can go and click the link. And it will take you directly to the payment method. So you can pay. Even with your card. Everybody on Facebook, I love you guys. God bless you guys. I pray that this message was a blessing on tonight. Good night.